video, I'm going to show you the best bomb in Madden 22. It comes to us out of the bunch tight end formation. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm in the Seattle Seahawks playbook. And if you've not picked up my bunch tight end bombs away offensive guide, I would really, really encourage you to do that. And the reason why I would recommend that you do that is because it's going to give you the concepts and the route combos that you need to literally destroy every single defense. You're going to have incredible pass protection from bunch tight end. And if you read the defense properly, it's almost impossible to stop this offense. Now, if you're new to the channel, like I said, hit that subscribe button. If you want to get my bunch tight end guide, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. It's on sale for just 15 bucks. I also wanted to say that my bunch tight end guide is actually best ran with my bunch guide. And so if you want to get access to all of my ebooks, all of my offensive and defensive guides, we've released 10 ebooks so far this season. You can get access to all of them for just $10 a month. And again, you can cancel whenever you want by joining my Patreon. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description. It literally gets you unlimited access to every piece of content that I release, all of my exclusive tips, my offensive eBooks, and my defensive guides. All right, guys, let's jump into the video. So the way that you would wanna run this, in my opinion, you can just come out and bunch tight in if you want to. I think it works best if you audible from bunch to bunch tight end. And the reason why is because what you're gonna, what you're gonna see in this year's game is it's very difficult to adjust whenever you flip and bunch to bunch tight end is basically a, a bunch flip, if you will. The second reason why I really, really recommend doing this is because what's gonna happen is they're gonna be so, um, the defensive uh, team is gonna be so focused on trying to get all their adjustments set up that they're gonna forget the fact that you can bomb them literally like that. So here's how we're gonna do this. The audible is already set for you. It's PA boot over. That's what we're gonna use to bomb the coverage. And we're just going to come out in any play out of gun bunch. Now, my personal favorite is the clear out SC out. Why? Because the clear out SC out is also a play that basically bombs every single defense in the game. And what we want to do is ideally we want to run our bunch. We want to come out with our gun bunch to the short side of the field. Now, whenever you run your gun bunch to the short side of the field, it automatically triggers the opponent to say, you know what? I want to sit in cover for a drop because that's probably the best coverage to the short side of the field for defending all the gun bunch bombs. But the beauty of this is when we audible to bunch tight end, you're gonna find that you're gonna find you're gonna put them in quite a situation. So we come out and clear out SE out. And then what we're going to do is we are going to audible to PA boot over. Now the setup is really important that you do it in the in these exact steps. Okay. So you audible to PA boot over, you're going to put your tiger on a delay fade, put the circle receiver on a slant, and put the triangle receiver on a streak. You want to put the streak out there last so that he doesn't get glitched. And all you're going to see here is that the square receiver, you're just going to pass lead to the right once he clears the defenders. And as you can see, it absolutely bombs the cover four drop. Now, the beauty of this is another popular coverage that a lot of people like to run this year is they love to run Tampa 2. And you're going to see that this is going to bomb that as well. So, again, we're just going to audible to PA boot over. We're going to slant our delay fade. We're going to then slant. And then we're going to streak and go. If we can get out of the pocket, which most of the time you can because you're blocking so many people, you're going to see that this post has a really good chance against that cover two uh, coverage. Let me show you that one more time. Got kind of a weird animation there. I'm not sure if our slant route worked or we probably rolled out just a little bit too early. You don't want to roll out instantly. You want to kind of wait for just a second and then let it roll out. So again, we're going to do this. We're going to wait, then roll out. And if we need to check down, we can. We can easily just check it down to the delay fade. Now, this is also going to bomb um, any match coverage, okay? So I'm just going to go with uh, cover four quarters, okay? Very good match coverage. Probably the you know palms or quarters are both very, very good, okay? But against this specific play, you're going to see here that you should be able to bomb it to that post. Now, I'm getting terrible pass protection. But let me show you. I'm going to show you cover two one more time, and then we'll go over this one more time. So, so cover two. Again, a lot of people like to blitz out of cover two. Pinch two is probably the most popular uh, defense we've been running at since the launch of the game. But what you'll see here, there we go. And that's what we're looking for against that cover two. As you can see, one play score wide open. Okay, wide open bomb against cover two. So we beat cover two. We beat cover four drop, two of the most popular coverages in the game. Now, you know, if you know anything about Madden 22, you're going to already know this, but cover three is not exactly a great coverage this year. 
Uh, cover three can get bombed from pretty much anything. Uh, it's very, very easy to manipulate that coverage and bomb it. This play is no different. So again, if they run that cover three, you're going to see the slant gums them out. Rodgers can make this throw, and he actually got, uh, I guess because he got hit, he threw it, underthrew it a little bit. But, you know, I recommend Josh Allen. And my, the beauty of bunch tight end, and part of the reason why I like it, why I think so many people like this um, this uh, this bomb, is because you can run this out of anything. You don't need Hot Route Master. You don't need Route Apprentice. You don't need anything, right? You just need a receiver that can get open uh, on a post. And so you're going to see here, cover three. Again, we'll just cancel the play action so we don't run ourselves out into a bad situation. And then you'll see here, just pass lead that up. And as you can see, we're bombing the cover three. This is the best bomb in the game. By far, I, I don't think it's even close. This is literally the best bomb in the game. We beat cover two. We beat cover three. We beat cover four drop. And now what we're going to do is we're going to show this bomb against deep halves. Now, I will say, at least in my personal opinion, uh, a deep half is probably the best adjustment um, that they could possibly do if they want to try to stop the bomb. But I will also say, I don't think it actually stops this. So again, we'll just do this. And what you'll see is that deep half gets completely manipulated underneath. And as you can see, we just thread the needle over the top and we get another one play score. So deep half doesn't work. Cover two doesn't work. Cover four drop doesn't work. Um, and then let me just show you match coverage real quick. So I'm gonna go to cover four palms. I think cover four palms is probably the better, um, if you were to ask me what's the best match coverage in the game. To me, it's either cover six or cover four palms, and I've done videos and talked a lot about those coverages. But what you're gonna see, it's bunch tight end for whatever reason. It really, really does mess with this play. Here we actually get a really good uh, uh, technique from that guy, and you're still able to beat it over the top, okay? You're still able to hit it over the top. Most of the time, Okay, most of the time, match coverage actually, in my opinion, works a little bit weird um, against the against P boot over because of the delay thing. So if you ever have issues with it, what you want to do is when you roll out, you get out, go ahead and release that delay fade. It'll help this bomb uh, just get more open against match, as you can see right there. Absolutely wide open, one play score. Now you might say, well, Cody, that's all well and good, but what about cover two man? Like, does this beat cover two man over the top? Um, the answer to that would be yes, it does. Um, I'm going to actually come out of here and grab the cover two man, and then we'll talk about two different types of man coverage that you're going to see. Uh, one is cover two man, and then the next one will be cover one. This bombs both of them, uh, which is really cool. So as long, And this is why I really, really recommend that you have a route tech player on that side. Okay, Put a route tech player there, because if you have a route tech player that can beat the man coverage, the deep zone's not going to play it. See, see how he, see how Jackson was able to get back. That does happen, but it doesn't happen if he has a step and you make a good throw. Okay, it doesn't happen if he has a step and you make a good throw. But notice, it wasn't the fact that cover two man guarded it. It was the fact that they had him manned up that guarded it. The safety didn't help him, is what I'm trying to get at. So as long as he beats that man-to-man -man coverage, as you can see right here, he does. Um, you're going to get this over top. Jackson's making some freaking plays. I think it's just because of his, he's got such a significant speed advantage um, over Devontae Adams. But literally, if you do this right, they shouldn't even have a chance uh, to guard this. So, again, we're rolling out. You want to pass lead hard to the right. And, again, I guess Jackson's just going to play it every time because he's got so much more of a speed advantage. But the beauty of this is – you really do it, it does come down a little bit i think that's why i run route tech on my guy because if i have route tech on him the chances of the defender just playing it like you're seeing is actually relatively low um in this video and again if you need to check it down to your slant go ahead but there you see beats the man coverage over the top for a one play score if he doesn't have a step on him check it down throw the delay fade throw the slant both of which are good now think about for just a second how most people defend PA boot over. And this is why it's important. If you run just regular PA boot over, you know what people are going to do? They're going to go from the, the drag to the crosser, right? That's what most people are going to do. Well, the way that we set this bomb up, that slant looks a lot like that drag, okay? That slant looks a lot like that drag. And so the reason that's important is because they may not know until it is, it is way too late that you are even in this because they're looking at oh he's oh he's got a slant he's got an underneath check down right 
no, I've got a deep post that's going over your face, and we're going to go dot you up and, and try to make a, make a play. So that's why I love this bomb. I think it's the best bomb in the game. The cool part about it is you're blocking seven, and you're doing it from PA boot over. One of the things that I really, really want to emphasize with you guys before I go is PA boot over is what makes it so good is, in my personal opinion, its ability to get you out of the pocket and keep you protected. They can't blitz you off the right, and they can't blitz you off the left because your running back is going to the left to pick up any blitzes. Now you've got this thing going over the top of their head, and you've got a really good chance at, at hitting that. Again, Jackson's got significantly more speed than Adams does. Uh, in Mutt, the ratings aren't like that. You're going to have Randy Moss there or Jerry Rice there with nine, with you know however much speed they have, and that's going to be at least comparable uh, to the other players. But my favorite thing about this is you pair this with clear out SE out from Bunch, and between those two plays, there's no defense in the game that can stop you. So if you want to learn both of those offenses, I would encourage you to join my Patreon. My Patreon is just simply $10 a month. And for $10 a month, you're going to unlock every single guide that we've released up until the point that your subscription is active. So you got to keep it active if you want to get the newer stuff. But as soon as you as soon as you pay your 10 bucks, you can always cancel. You can cancel whenever you want. Um, but my recommendation will be to join the Patreon, learn these two offenses together, and you're going to find that there's literally nothing that people can do to stop you. It's very difficult to stop these offenses. And uh, we update them with any patch notes and any of that stuff. So uh, go ahead and grab the Patreon. There's a link in the description where you can go get it. Again, you can get it for just 10 bucks a month, and it gets you access to everything. We've already released 10 ebooks this year in Madden 22.